Last Hawaiian princess Abigail Kawanana Koa dies with $215 million in wealth. Abigail Kinoiki Kekaulai Kawanana Koa, Hawaii's so-called last princess, has passed away aged 96. The royal, known to her friends as Kekau, was one of the last living links to the royal family and was celebrated for her philanthropic support of traditional Hawaiian culture. The heiress died peacefully at home in Honolulu on Sunday with her wife by her side. According to a statement released by Lolani Palace, the historic home of the royal family and America's only royal residence, Abigail will be remembered for her love of Hawaii and its people, said her wife, Veronica Gail Kawanana Koa. I'll miss her with all of my heart. No cause of death has yet been given. Abigail Kawanana Koa was born in Honolulu in 1926 and later attended school in Shanghai and California. Her great wealth, which is estimated to be $250 million, that is £175 million, pounds, and was held in trust, came from her great-grandfather, James Campbell, an Irish businessman who owned a sugar plantation. Her daughter, his daughter married Prince David Kawanana Koa, who was third in line for the throne of the Kingdom of Hawaii when the Royal family was sworn by American businessmen in 1893. At the time, the role of U.S. nationals in the coup was controversial, and President Grover Cleveland, describing their involvement in the overthrow of the Hawaiian monarchy and embarrassment. After the prince's death in 1908, his widow adopted their grandchild through the traditional Hawaiian custom of Hanai, which is strengthened Abigail's claim to the informal title of princess. While some genealogists claim that Princess Kawanana Koa had the strongest royal ties to Hawaii, a separate offshoot of the former royal family claims that Princess Wanakaholeleoni is the rightful head of the modern day dynasty. Mrs. Kawanana Koa herself admitted in a 2021 interview with Honolulu magazine that had the monarchy survived. Her cousin Edward Kawanana Koa would have been in line to rule ahead of her based on the rules of succession. Of course, I'd be the power behind the throne. There's no question about that, she joked in the interview. Among her acts of philanthropy, Mrs. Kawanana Koa found funded scholarships for indigenous Hawaiians and contributed to the keep of Lolani Palace, which is now a museum. This news is from BBC. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.